Welcome to another video by LSX Engines and Tuning. In this video, this is part two, and I'm going to show um, the uh, uh, Mer Mercruiser 4.3 liter V6 that has just come back from machine shop. This is as uh, from scratch and as basic and, 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 uh, and uh, simple as you can get a V6 block before you rebuild it. All um, holes and plugs have been removed. Have been removed. The uh, Rear cam plug has been removed back there. You see the hole through there. Um, all your front journal plugs here and here are out. Um, freeze plugs, I don't know if you can see it down here, there's a hole there. And then there's another one here. These have been taken out and the same on the other side. So this block has been machined. It's been uh, bored and honed. This was start. the factory is a four inch bore. And it's been bored out to four, uh, 30,000 oversized, so it's a 4.030 inch bore. And it's also been honed. You can see the, uh, the, they, use a, they use a machine or stone and put a crosshatch pattern in it so that it helps retain oil uh, for the rings. So all, four, uh, excuse me, all six cylinders have been checked. Um, even though machine shops supposedly checked them themselves, I, check, I double check. So I take a telescopic gauge uh, with this device put in the hole and you, you work it out in such a way that it measures the bore and then I use a, a micrometer and uh, every single one of these bores is checked out to be exactly 4.030 inches alright so then to double check the pistons this is the pistons I sh showed in the previous video part one um, so the pistons I've, got, I've marked which hole to put them in and I've put the clearance on the top of the piston this is 0 0.0010 inches, so it's one, one thousand of an inch clearance. And I measured each one, and there's at least one thousand of an inch clearance on all these pistons, all six pistons. And I've already identified which hole I'm going to put them in. So the next step is to uh, put these uh, plugs, this bag of plugs, in the block, and uh, and then I'll do it. once I get all these plugs in. Uh, what I'm about to do now. I will go through and clean it up one last time. Uh, just cut it down with what I use a shout laundry uh, spot remover, stain remover. I found it's a very good degreaser. Because uh, I don't need a heavy degreaser. This block is already clean. There's no grease on it. But I'm just removing uh, shot dust and what's left from the machine shop that they didn't get out right before I build it. So I'm going to clean it up with a uh, shout and warm water. And then, uh, then I'll dry it off with compressed air. And then uh, put it on the engine stand. It'll be ready to build. But um, I can go ahead and put the plugs in because since it's not that dirty, it's okay for the plugs to go in now. So I just want to show you a, a block that's ready to build, and it's a uh, build from scratch. In other words, it's not uh, already, uh, some of the work's already been done. This is as basic as you can get from a machine shop. The crankshaft, which is right here, was turned by the machine shop. This is your main bearings, and these are your, um, your rod journals, or your main journals and your rod journals here. And these were turned 10,000 smaller on the mains and 10,000 smaller on the on the rod journals. So this is a 4.3 V6 crankshaft. And um, so that's also going to get it washed um, with soap and water and then dried off of compressed air. And it'll be ready to install in the block. So um, about to get started on this rebuild. And just want to show you what you uh, can expect when you get a, a block back from the machine shop. Um, as far as the clearance on these pistons, um, I produced another video talking about how to determine the uh, piston to wall clearance uh, for a marine engine. So I'll refer you to go back and look at that video for for the uh, how these were determined, what size these were determined to be. And uh, that's about it. So this block's ready to go. And uh, this, this is part two. Part three will be me, uh, probably the block will be cleaned with all these plugs in and it ready to receive a crankshaft. Thanks for watching.